Hi, I am Roxana from VP State Team and in this video I will show how to import the Solo 3 demo. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins and the first step that I need to take is to activate the VP Rentals team. Here you will need to add your Team Forest details, you will need to add the email address, the Team Forest username and the license code. You can find all these details in your buyer account on Team Forest, so I will add my details. I will tick the consent checkbox and I will press register license. My theme is now activated. The next step before importing the demo is to install the SVG support plugin. We have the option to add SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content you will need to install and activate the SVG support plugin before the demo import. So I will go to plugins, I will press add new, I will look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that you need to to install. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin and now I can proceed with the demo import. For that I will go to VP Rentals options import demo. Here you will find all team available demos. You need to be aware that you can import only one demo at once and if you change your mind and you need a different demo you will need to clear database first. Also before clearing database you will need to deregister your license to be able to use it again. You can do that from VP Rentals license. Here you just need to click deactivate license and after clear database. We have a special video tutorial made for the clear database process. So I will go back to import demo. I will look for the solo 3 demo. This is the one. I will click import demo and continue and import. Now I will wait for the demo content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo was imported successfully. And next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Before showing the content on front-end, I will show the changes that you need to make from admin. First, you will need to set permalinks correctly. That can be done from settings permalinks. You need to set permalinks to postname and save changes. Next, you will need to go to VP Rentals options, go to general section and here you will need to replace the demo settings with your own. You need to check each section and add the details that fit your business. In general settings, you can change country, measurement unit and other settings. In logos and favicon, you will need to upload your own logo to replace the demo one. In booking settings, you can make booking specific settings like select the booking type, weekend days and other settings. In social and contact, you can replace the demo contact details with your own. You can add company name, address and other details. Also, you can add your social accounts, set social login and set social login. In map section, you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep open street or select Google Maps. If you want to use Google Maps, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added here. In listing page, you can find settings for the listing page design. You can change the type. You can manage listing sections with the listing page layout manager and also you can make other settings. In design section you can change design elements for listing card, for the info box, you can replace demo colors with your own and make other settings. In email management you can make settings for the notifications that will be sent from your site. You have here a list with the notifications sent and you can change each email content. In Payments and Submit, you can make settings for the Listing Submit page. You can select the fields that will show in the submission form and make other settings. Also, in this section, you can make settings for the booking payment options. You can set a deposit fee and a service fee. Also, here you can set the payments. You can set PayPal or Stripe from the team or you can enable WooCommerce 
and use for payments any WooCommerce add-on. Next, in search, you can manage the settings for the advanced search from the team. You can set type and make other settings. And also in SMS manager section, you can enable the SMS service that will be powered by Tulio. This was just a quick overview. You will need to check in detail each section in team options and add your own set. Next, I will go on front end. The demo content was imported. You will see all the demo sections. And for the page to show exactly as the one from the official demo, you will need to make manual adjustments for this section. This section was created with listing categories and since on import the IDs of the categories will be different, this section will need to be manually adjusted. First, I will show how the section was created. The page was created with Elementor, so I will edit it with Elementor. I will scroll down to that section. Here we use the VP Rentals featured category. The demo categories were not saved, so you will need to manually select the ones that you want to display on front end. I will select random categories just to show how this widget works. You will need to do this for each element. Once you have selected all categories, you will need to click update to save the changes made and next you will need to manually upload an image to each category used in this section. That can be done from admin. You'll find all listing categories under listings. They are categories what do you rent, city, neighborhood, area, features and amenities and property status. I will go to categories as in homepage I selected categories from this section. In order to upload an image, I will need to edit the category. I will press the upload image button. You can select an image from your device or select one from media. I will select an image from my device. I will select the image that I want to add. I will click open, insert into post and update. Now on home page, on refresh, you will see the image that I just uploaded. Since the same steps will apply, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all the images, now the section shows as the one in the official demo. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next I will show a quick overview on how you can edit the homepage elements. I will go back to the Elementor editor. I have Navigator enabled to have better access to each page section. You can enable or disable from here. I will start with the first section which is the header one. Here we created a section with three columns. I will move navigator lower so you can see the sections. I will select the first column. Here we added an image. You can change it from style section. Here you can replace the demo image and add your own. In the next column we added text with the heading widget for Elementor. You can edit it and add your own text. The same applies for the second section as well. And here we created a search form using the search form builder widget. The settings for this search will need to be done from the widget and the settings from search section in team options will not apply. You'll have the option to change fields and make other settings. Next, in the last section, we added a smaller image. We used the image widget from Elementor and here you can replace the demo image with your own. I will now select the entire section and to change the graphic here, you will need to go to style, to go to background overlay and here you need to delete or replace this image with your own. Going to the next section, here we created a section with icons and text. For that we used the icon box widget from Elementor. You will be able to change the text and also replace the demo icon. You will need to do the same for each element used in this section. Going further to the next section, here we created a presentation section with image and text. In the first column we added this image. You can change it from style section. Here you can replace the demo image with your own. And in the second column, we added text with the heading widget 
and the text editor widget. From Elementor, we added social icons using icon widget from Elementor. You can change the icons and add your links. And here we added text with heading widget from Elementor. Going further to the next section, here we created a section that will display listings. For that, we use the VP Rentals recent items widget. You can change settings, you can change number of items that will display, number of items per row, and also you have the option to display property as grid when this option is enabled the number of units per row will be calculated based on the values that you add for the unit minimum width you also have filters and other settings available going further to the next section here we added a section for activities for that we used multiple columns we added a column with image that you can change in style and next a column with text and next a column with a button here you can change the text and the link and also we added text with the heading widget from elementor this was done for each column the images can be changed from style and the columns with text and button and here you just need to change button and text going further to the next section here we created a section that will display listing categories i have already explained how to set this section you can add here any categories that you want also you have the option to change type and choose a different design going further to the next section here we created a section for features and amenities this section has a background added to change it you will need to select the section and go to style in background overlay you will have the option to replace the demo image with your own or delete it completely we added here three columns with the image widget from elementor and we added the text with the heading widget going further here we have a section created with text and icons we used icon box you'll have the option to change text and replace the icon with your own you will need to do this for each section that we added in the next section we created a blog post section to display blog posts we used the vp rentals recent items just that this time we set it to display articles instead of properties you can choose different design card you'll have the option to select a different blog unit card you can select the number of items and the number of items per row and also you can use the display as grid option that will change the number of blog posts per row based on the unit minimum width that you set here and for the last section in the page we created a contact us section here we added text with the heading widget and we created and we created a custom contact form using the contact form builder here you'll have the option to change fields and make other settings in the second column we added an image you can change it from style and replace it with your own this was a quick overview on how to manage the homepage elements. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.